So we've dealt a lot with independent and dependent events, but what about mutually exclusive events? So let's look into that a bit more. There's an exciting cricket match coming up in the evening and we don't want rain playing spoils boat. There's a 60% chance of a cloudy afternoon and a 40% chance of a bright and sunny afternoon. Now the thing is, if it's cloudy, there's a 50% chance it would rain in the evening. On the other hand, a sunny afternoon will bring down the chance of evening rain to just 5%. So what is the likelihood that our match will be washed out? So we have two likely scenarios here. First, a cloudy afternoon. The probability is 60%. So let me call that A. And then the opposite, clear skies. Probability is 40% and we'll call this B. The chances of evening rain are 50% if A happens and 5% if B happens. And we'll just call this R. So listing all this down, the probability of A is 60%, B is 40%, the probability of rain given A happens is 50%, and the probability of rain given B is 5%. Now A and B are independent events. Or are they? If you recall, independent events happen when the occurrence of one event has absolutely no effect on the other and both can happen together at the same time. Would that really apply in this case? Could you possibly have cloudy and clear skies at the same time? Answer is no. So A and B are mutually exclusive as they can never occur together at the same time. So here, the probability of evening rain will be the likelihood of rain if we have a cloudy afternoon plus the likelihood of rain if the afternoon is bright and sunny. One thing you need to keep in mind, the probability of rain, if it's cloudy, will not be the same as conditional probability of R. Because conditional probability of R is the probability of rain given it's cloudy. If and given are two different things altogether. So my probability of rain if it's cloudy in the afternoon will be events favorable to both afternoon clouds and evening rain. And my second term here will be events favorable to a sunny afternoon and evening rain. And that should be nothing but P of R intersection A, events favorable to A, or afternoon clouds, and R, or evening rain, plus P of R intersection B, sunny afternoon and evening rain. I don't quite know what my R intersection A or R intersection B values are, but we do know some of our conditional probability terms. So using the relationship that we calculated between the conditional probability and the intersection of two sets earlier, we'll rewrite our R intersection A as conditional probability of R into P of A. And my R intersection B will look something like this. So just plug in the values and we get 50% into 60% plus 5% into 40%. 50% into 60% will be half of 60%, which is 30% or 0.3, and 5% into 40% will be 2% or 0 0.02. 
So this sums up to 0.32 or 32%. So there is a 32% chance that our cricket match will be washed out.